Hello beautiful people, you are all looking lovely. Welcome to Joe and Joy YouTube channel. My name is Joe and today we are going to bake the perfect moist curd cake. Uh, the reason why I'm giving you this recipe is because I did bake a cake for my wife. Normally I do cook for my wife a lot of things but this particular cake I did, I posted on Instagram as you can see the picture and most guys were like wow we love the cake it looks perfect and please could you give us the recipe and that's the reason why i am doing this video so that i can give you the recipe for this if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe if you're not new you know joy or and joe love to cook and uh, most of my cooking includes the oven baking barbecuing so today i'm gonna show you how to make the perfect cake. So I'm gonna flip this camera and show you our tools that I'm going to use. This is my baking pan, the whisk there, and this brush here is for applying oil just before I put it in the oven. And this is for mix mixing. If you have a mixer, you can use it as well. And this is my flour measured. And as yes, you can see, it's standing on this scale right here. Guys, this is a very important tool to have in your kitchen because this recipe includes a lot of numbers in grams all right and this is my carrot exactly 450 grams and this is about 460 grams of mixture of flour and i'm gonna tell you in a short while what is all in there three eggs 160 grams of margarine from prestige and this is exactly as you can see the numbers there this is milk exactly 110 milliliter by now guys you know that anywhere joe is he likes numbers and you have heard me say numbers there because for you to bake a perfect cake you need to be as accurate as possible but not too accurate because it all depends with what you want all right let's talk about the flour you don't need a special kind of flour, any brand, as long as it's all-purpose flour. You can uh, get self raising or you can just get the normal one, as long as you're going to use the baking powder. So in here, I have two cups. Two cups is around 260 grams of flour and two and a half cups of sugar, uh, making it about around another uh, 200 plus let's make them two cups right so that uh, one cup of normal sugar two cups of uh, brown sugar but i i just use the normal sugar two cups one and a half cup because i don't like too much sugar so and then you will need vanilla extract and cinnamon and salt so this is how you are going to mix this perfect flour mixture i will repeat two cups of flour uh, all-purpose flour one and a half cup for my case of sugar you can use two cups one cup of white sugar or one cup of brown sugar however you want and then one and a half tablespoon of cinnamon one tablespoon of vanilla and a half a spoon of salt you mix them all together you end up with this for me i ended up with 460 grams of all this mixture if you want you can add raisins that's optional that's up to you all right so those are the key ingredients once you do that you need carrots about four of them four medium ones or you if you have a scale just make sure you have 450 grams the three eggs and the margarine and let's get into it thing i want to do is to melt this butter i measured it accurately using my scale to exactly 160 grams while that is melting i'm gonna break some eggs uh three of them guys it doesn't matter whether you remove the yolk or you use them all together it just depends if you don't like eggs you can uh, use an alternative similarly for those who people for those who don't like the margarine 
uh, you can use coconut oil as an alternative but it's gonna give your cake that coconutty taste so i have my eggs there i have my melted butter and then i have my milk so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add the milk into the eggs with my whisker i'm gonna beat them uh, the reason i'm doing this is to give my butter time to cool so that when i pour it in it does not cook my eggs you're gonna have to forgive me because i'm doing this very cautious i don't want to make joy's kitchen dirty all right so i'm gonna add my butter sorry my margarine melted margarine all right like i told you guys so many alternatives that you can have all right once i've done that next and in goes my carrots right this is the time i retire my whisk and i pick my stirring instrument right this is what i end up with that mixture and the last thing i'm gonna add is my flour mixture remember guys all the ingredients i told you to add in here and uh you can do the stirring using your hand i said if you have a mixture you can uh, use it so you mix it until you get to the consistency you want the mixing is going on guys do not forget to prep your oven and i might check in to make sure there is nothing in there before i start with the baking i want to set the temperature to around 180 and then in the meantime it can be preheating all right there is my mixture you can see the consistency um some of you might ask why the, the ingredients that i have added here the eggs give it structure i have used three you can use more it depends with what you want and the sugar keeps it keeps your cake moist as well as the butter so you can use as much as you want depending on what you want if you want it more moist you use more sugar and more butter and it's gonna be as sweet as well if you want it less sugary but um, yeah you get the point i'm sure you guys are gonna ask me about this kitchen skill right you can get it anywhere from jumia supermarket this one i got from hot point okay i pre-ordered it and it comes and it's very nice very easy to use and uh taking measurement especially if you love baking as i all right so the next thing is to prep this tin and uh super easy i normally use the margarine same margarine that i have used with my brush i just and then i apply so you're gonna do this until the entire container is covered in margarine so that your cake does not stick right once you have prepped your tin the next thing is to pour in your mixture all right do not mind my kitamba here just to make sure i wipe every mess that i make so the next thing guys is to pour your co your mixture nicely
once you have poured your mixture you spread it nicely and you let it sit for just few minutes as your oven is getting hot right as you can see guys that's the mixture i am looking for looks super nice and this is what is gonna turn into a perfect carrot cake the oven is now ready and the next thing is now to put in the mixture and uh, in it goes there you have my cake baking I'm gonna leave it there for about 30 to 40 minutes depending right the best way to know if your cake is coming on along very well you use toothpick and uh, to check and i'm gonna show you how you do that right the cake is in the oven and we are just waiting for it to bake for about 30 to 40 minutes uh, depending on uh, how fast it's gonna right um i have done this a couple of times so i'm anticipating my cake is gonna be perfect if this is your first time trying it might not be as perfect as you expect it to be but do not give up just continue doing exactly what i have said in this video and one day you're gonna get it perfect all right practice practice makes it perfect and uh let's see let's see what just hello guys it's been a couple of minutes now and like i promised i'm gonna show you how you check your cake kama inaiva ama haivi and i'm gonna use two toothpicks and this is how i do it you pull your cake out and nimeone kitingika so i can tell that uh it still has some time to go but i'm doing this for the purpose of learning and you're learning so what you do is as you can see these sides you put in your two toothpicks and you check all right you can tell towards the edge you may have a kidogo but if i do the same thing in the middle it's coming out with the uh, let me focus it's coming out with that so this tells me keki bado iko mbali so i'm gonna return it and uh yeah what you wanna see is once you put your toothpick in they come out clean and that's how you know that your cake is made as you can see the cake is rising nicely right so let's give it more time it's been like 20 minutes now right so guys my cake is done there it is <laughs> just gonna take it out it's hot hot as you can see guys this is my finished product of a cake and i'm gonna show you what i meant by checking if it's well cooked as you can see the color looks nice and with your toothpick, toothpick, you put it inside and there should be nothing. The reason why I like using these kinds of uh, baking pan is because of this uh, piece right here. Because you can uh, just open it, it's hot. So I'm just going to use this to open. Right, and then the thing just expands. And uh, you can pull it out. You can just pull it out like so <laughs> put it on the side and there you have it your finished product i feel like i should just measure this with my scale and see 
uh, the grams on this cake so that you can know how much cake you're gonna get from the kind of measurements that I gave you but as you can see that's my cake guys okay, there you go with my cake on the scale and I'm gonna read here it's about 13 38 1338 grams which means it's 1.3 kgs yeah enough with the whole family with my cake done the next thing is just to put it here just next to the window so that it can cool off and i normally use this container here perforated to protect the cake and keep it cooling but protect it from bugs there you have it guys perfect cake if you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and i'm gonna keep on doing some of these recipes as you ask and i'm gonna keep on posting uh, until next time take care guys and uh, if anything you feel like you want to share just put it in the comment section adios